someone is happily driving. <laughs> That's a nice rig for driving, right? Ow! Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings, Zulishan Mo here. Welcome to my little main cave and my FPV driving rig. Yes, this driving rig right here is not set up to play some driving games on computers, but to drive this Mini Q FPV racing car. So, welcome to the era of FPV racing on the ground. Now these products are coming out. This is a Mini Q FPV racing car. It's a four-wheel drive, 128 scale mini electric FPV car. The camera is right here in the driver's head where the eye should be. It's like a cyclone, you know, only one eye. And the best thing is it comes with this sweet driving rig. You know, you have a steering wheel right here and not only steering wheel. Let me just tilt the camera. Down there you also have the paddles. Mm -hmm. Accelerator and the brake and reverse. So it's a complete FPV driving rig. And you can also, of course, FPV race if you can get two or three of these. Now mine actually came with and FPV goggles as well, which are just kind of, you know, basic FPV goggles with diversity and kind of blurry inside because the, you know, the uh, distance from your eyes to screen is pretty short and that's why it's blurry. But check this out. You can connect them to your TV using AV out and go big screen when you want to drive or FPV race with this mini Q FPV racing car. Check this out. So here I am. Um, this is one way to enjoy this FPV racing car. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a table to install this, but I have my lap now. Check this out. The FPV car is down there. And this is my driving position. That's going to be. We have an FPV video goggles right there, which are connected to the car and then AV out to my big TV right here. Okay. So, now I just have to look at the TV and start driving. It takes a little getting used to, but I am surprised how precise the controls are for this FPV car. I am actually having a lot of fun driving in this way. And this is not just its only speed. The car is basically <laughs> You can actually drift with it. Oh, I'm getting actually dizzy man. So look at the TV now and you can see it's actually much more fun to drive the FPV car this way. And surprisingly the video is still alive. Look at that, my FJ Cruiser is there. So, oh, nice, nice. Video is still alive. That's nice, man. Okay, now I'm having a little bit of delay issue on the control, but overall it's still controllable. Coming back. And going under the chairs. Ah, oh, that is nice, man. So once again, the controls are good and precise, but when you go a little farther, there's a slight delay. However, looking at the TV screen, now if you look at me and my controls, I can tell you that if we have two or three of these at home and Hey, reverse. And we can set a track at our house. You know, it will be absolutely so much fun to drive these cars this way and race with your family members. All right, welcome back. Now, that was in my living room. And unfortunately, I do not have a table to set this steering system on but it's still it worked now i have set it up here uh the pedals are down there i feel nice and comfortable to control the pedals on this 
car is ready my LCD screen is ready and now I'm gonna drive with the LCD screen I'm gonna have some fun so stay with me here and after this little drive I'm gonna give you a closer look at the car and the whole system I'll talk about it okay so let's turn on the monitor let's turn on the FPV car okay I'm waiting and there it is you can see in the monitor can you see that of course um, a little bit but it's pretty clear on a smaller screen rather than a bigger screen so I'm just gonna put the FPV car down there okay and I'm gonna start recording recording the DVR is recording and I hope that it has enough range from you know from my room so the steering is on, the steering system is on, and here we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, the car is actually pretty fast, I can tell you that. So I'm just driving at a slow speed at the moment, going under the chairs. Nice, a little bit of glitchy glitchy because the antennas are not right. Oh, nice speed. There is mommy standing there in the kitchen. So let's go to my this dirty bedroom. And oh, there's a scooter here. Okay, don't go down because you will get stuck. I'm surprised that it's actually video quality is still okay. I mean, with the other video goggles, it was very, very strong signal, but with my this. Ishin old LCD, the signal kind of breaks at times, but it's okay. Oh, those are my foot feet, so you can see how I'm doing. Oh, the driver, Cyclops driver, hits his head on on the chair. Now I'm going back in the living room. I'm gonna try to. Oh, I hit my electric paramotor. I'm gonna try to drifting. Oh, I hit the chair. Sorry. So let's try it again. Yeah, it, it actually drifted. Oh, look at that, man. You can actually drift with this car, man. It has nice power. Look at that. But it takes a lot of practice. Oh, come on. I got stuck. Ah. Okay, I managed to get it out. And now I'm coming back to the kitchen. Oh, I hit... I hit her foot, sorry, and she says, go away. All right, so we are going here, and let's go to this room now, kids' room. Oh, oh, here is so much interference, so let's reverse and come back. Good, I hit something else. Okay, let's just drive slowly. Yes, you can drive slowly as well. Man, this is absolutely fun, I can tell you. I mean, there are many FPV cars out there, but most of them, I mean, all of them, are actually with, uh, you know, those remote controllers, the gun type, you know, two-channel remote controllers, and none of them is actually gonna be <coughs> this much fun. <laughs> <laughs> now I really wish that we actually had two of these systems I would love to oh look at that there's one more FPV car and there's a Toyota FG Cruiser I would love to set up two of these systems with two video goggles wish I had three because I have two kids you know Irish highly we three could actually race we could set up a very nice indoor track and we could just go around racing at home so you say this is absolutely fun man let me just start recording right here and now let me bring the camera closer and give you a closer look at the steering system FPV car and video goggles that it came with obviously if you want you can also use just the video goggles you know and drive around so you know what if it had a camera with a head tracker like with a servo and a head tracker so you can turn your head and look left and right that would be really nice so now we are going around again 
Okay, it's kind of, yeah, I can tell you, it's okay to drive with this, with these video goggles, but they are pretty El Cheapo type, so, you know, but the reception is really good in these video goggles. The video is not breaking that much. Um, I mean, I have some slight lines, but nothing breaks. So yes, it's also fun to drive with the FPV goggles. If you don't, if you don't have the LCD screen at home, you can use these supplied video goggles. And as I have shown you, you can connect them to the TV, big TV, and have fun driving using the TV screen. Now, I have tested the O4X FPV video goggles, the Sky Zone. They are really nice and high quality FPV video goggles. But the image quality that coming from this camera system is not that good, I can tell you about that. So, on this screen, it looks really very nice. As you can see right here, it looks very nice and clean and I like it and I simply love to drive with this small screen. On the TV, it gets very, very big, more clear to see things and more fun to drive with, okay? So these were various ways that you could enjoy your Mini Q FPV racing car. Now let me bring the camera closer give you a closer look at the FPV car and the system that it came with. Okay, so this is the steering system. It does not have any force feedback. It's just simple, uh, pretty cheap type of uh, steering system. But hey, as far as it works with the FPV racing car, it's good. These buttons, they have no use at all. So most probably what they did is they actually take the output from potentiometers, you know, of this steering and they put a module right here which actually transforms all these uh, you know signals into the rc signal and sends to the car so i will tell you what these modules are of course uh you have here you have here something like you know a, f a fuel cap so you can basically open it so you basically take it off the lid and inside you have Hold on, let me pick it up. And inside you have four batteries, four AA size batteries that you will, you know, install in that and put it back in and then just install the, you know, fuel cap back on. So just install the fuel cap back on and after that you can turn on the steering wheel and start using right, you know, right away. There is another cable that is coming from the steering wheel which connects on the back, I will show you very soon, and goes all the way down to the foot pedals okay now on the foot pedals you have accelerator and the brake and the brake also gives you reverse so it's really nice and easy to use i like it that they have provided a place to put your socks am i wearing socks upside down yeah it looks like that okay so anyway don't worry about that so you just put one foot there to hold it nice it's kind of non-slippery uh, under it so it doesn't slip and then you can use you know pedals very easily you can mount the steering wheel using supplied accessories this is one there's another accessory as well that goes all the way under the table so there are two different accessories that you can use to actually uh, you know mount your steering wheel and here you have a cable that goes all the way to the foot pedals yes right here you have on off switch you have reverse and you have trims for your fpv car like steering trim throttle trim which you have two different trims forward and reverse both are available to trim it out should you want to drive the car automatically goes a slight speed you know slow speed so you can just keep controlling without using pedals you can just set that with you know one of these forward trims this shifter right here mm -mm, doesn't work doesn't do anything and these pedals i mean these shifters right here clicker shifters they also do not work that was the steering system now look at the 128 scale mini q fpv racing car it's nicely made and there's a cyclope driver down there right there with one camera in his head yeah so we call it the cyclops driver there's an antenna sticking out right here on top uh, for the fpv system uh, nice grippy tires but still with some speed you can use them as still you can like on tiled floor you can do uh, some drifting as well proportional steering yes very nice proportional steering using a servo um okay there's a brushed motor and you can see the gearing at both front and rear so this basically 
is a complete four-wheel drive system right here for your little car there's a small battery that you can take out to replace the battery this is magnetic right here so basically you can just pull it out okay and hold on just put it down here now you can see the fpv system is right there on the canopy i mean on the shell okay and all the guts of the car you can see from here now easy to change the battery it's a 3.7 volt uh small battery that uh, car actually came with two different batteries and everything is just built in so all you need to do is charge the battery using the supply charger plug it in and you know install the shell and start fpv racing right away someone is happily driving <laughs> That's a nice rig for driving, right? Ow. Ow. You're still getting used to it, right? Learn to stop in time. Did Hadi try it or not? Now you're doing a good job. more fun to drive FPV this way rather than one remote control oh you are going to drift right <laughs> all right thank you very much for watching this video if you like give it a big thumb up and of course stay subscribed to my channel hit that little bell icon and stay updated for all the upcoming uploads by turning on all the notifications if you like this product the link is in video description go ahead and check it out and if you want you can get it but again i would say yes it is available with the you know two channel gun control radio controller and lcd screen but i would say get it with the steering system right here and then it's gonna be much more fun driving it becomes it becomes almost as real as it can get with the steering system and pedal to drive this FPV racing car. I mean, you can still enjoy it with the, you know, thumb, uh, the gun radio control, but this is more fun and more realistic. Thank you very much for watching this video once again. I'm Alti. I have to drive my FJ Cruiser, set the SNL V2 and SNL Plus and make videos for those as well. And of course, there's another mini desktop FPV racing vehicle sitting for my review. So lots of video coming your way. Stay subscribed, stay subscribed and stay tuned. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.